point of the fantasy football season is finally here. And here's the top 12 defenses heading into week one. The first defense is the San Francisco 49ers. So the big matchup this week here at the Detroit Lions. And the Lions, we know they're going to be one of the worst teams most likely this season. And all the NFL here, they got in their roster. They lost Kenny Galladay and Marvin Jones in free agency this offseason. Traded Matthew Stafford to the Los Angeles Rams for Jerry Goff and draft picks. And right now... The Andre Swift ain't 100% as well, so that bodes well for San Francisco. They're getting Bosa back on defense, a couple other guys coming off injury, and this team, they want to get off to a good start. And this week, they got a slam dunk matchup, in my opinion, versus a weak Detroit offense. They're going to make some plays in San Francisco. It wouldn't surprise me to see him possibly find the end zone in this one as well. And I don't know if Jared Goff and this Lion team is going to put many points up on the board as well in this ball game. Obviously, I think this is going to be a blowout, and San Francisco gets off to a big start. But right here, I could see this defense making a few plays, maybe two or three turnovers, and possibly finding the end zone. And this week, I got a number one at the defensive position. Number two, the Los Angeles Rams. So the Rams, they got a pretty good matchup here on Sunday Night Football versus the Chicago Bears coming into town. And this Ram defense, they're loaded, obviously, with the best defensive player in all of football with Aaron Donald. Obviously, Jalen Ramsey, one of the best corners as well. And Andy Dalton, I think he's going to be running for his life in this ball game here, where there's going to be heavy pressure on him all day. This Bear offense, they got a few playmakers. I'll give them to that with Allen Robinson and David Montgomery. But Andy Dalton's in a rude awakening, in my opinion here, where he's going to be running all day and you have to get rid of that ball quickly, where that leads to problems and leads to turnovers. And I think this Ram defense, they're going to get a bunch of sacks in this game. They're going to get two or three turnovers. And a defense that was taken very early in fantasy drafts as one of the first defenses going off the board. And right here, I think it's going to be a great game for the Rams in this one. And they're going to cause havoc and put up good points. The next defense... I got this week is number three is the Carolina Panthers with the New York Jets coming into town. So the Jets here in the offseason, they made some moves. They improved the offense. They drafted Zach Wilson at quarterback. But in his first ball game of his NFL career, obviously in the regular season, there's going to be jitters for Zach Wilson. And this is kind of a redemption game here for some of these guys on this Panther team, like Sam Darnold and obviously Robbie Anderson, even though... They don't play defense. I bet they're going to rally their troops up. And the Panthers, they want to get off to a good start as well this season. Because in my opinion, that division is pretty open with Drew Brees retiring in the offseason. The Falcons, I don't know if they're going to be that good, if good at all. Like last season, they struggled. And especially losing Julio Jones as well in the offseason. So right here, the Panthers, they want to get off to a good start. And I think they can make Zach Wilson make a few mistakes here and get to the quarterback as well. This New York Jet offensive line isn't really that good in my opinion. So I could see the Panthers getting three or four sacks in this game, causing a few turnovers and possibly finding the end zone as well in this one. The fourth defense this week is the Jacksonville Jaguars at the Houston Texans. So the Houston Texans, they are a mess, no doubt about it. you got Tyrod Taylor as your starting quarterback where three or four seasons ago, his best days were behind him, where he's more of a backup in this league here. So the Jaguars, obviously they got Trevor Lawrence. Obviously they got Urban Meyer as their head coach this season. And this is a team trying to make noise this year with the first pick and one of the hottest college coaches to come in and be their head coach this season, even though they threw a boatload of money at him. And what's a better way than week one going into Houston beating a division rival, and getting the first win under their belt. And this Jacksonville Jaguar team, they got some playmakers on defense, no doubt about it. And I think they could get to Tyrod Taylor early and often and easily cause two or three turnovers in this ball game. Because really, Houston, they don't got any playmakers on this offense. David Johnson, his best days are behind them. Mark Ingram, he's over there. His best days are behind him. Phillip Lindsay, he's still a decent running back. And Brandon Cooks, he's not really a number one wide receiver. So it's going to spell disaster for Houston. And I think this Jacksonville defense puts up big numbers this week. And they were also available in 95% of fantasy leagues. The fifth defense, the Minnesota Vikings. So the Vikings travel to Cincinnati versus Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals. And the Bengals on paper... Very good offense, in my opinion, with Joe Mixon, Joe Burrow, 
Jamal Chase, T. Higgins, and Tywa Boyd. But this week, it's Joe Burrow's first time back after tearing the ACL season. I'm right here. I don't know if Burrow's 100%. After that first hit, we'll see if Joe Burrow gets back up like nothing happened. But right here, he's going to be rusty in my opinion. He's still a very young quarterback, only in his second year in this league. And the Minnesota Vikings, I know their defense wasn't that great last season. But here in Cincinnati, I see some good opportunities for them to make plays, get double-digit fantasy points at the defensive position, and also find the end zone as well as a definite possibility. So Minnesota, they're another defense, not owned in many fantasy leagues. And I think this week they could take advantage of this young Cincinnati offense and make a few plays in this ball game. Number six, the Denver Broncos at the New York Giants. So the Giants here... They upgraded a little in the offseason, making a few moves, getting Kenny Galladay, trying to shore up the offensive line a little, and also Saquon Barkley is going to return here. But the thing is with this giant team, a lot of injuries going into this ball game versus Denver. We got Saquon Barkley. He's not 100%. He's not going to get the full workload. He's still recovering from offseason ACL and MCL surgery. Kenny Galladay, he's been banged up all training camp with a hamstring injury. He most likely will play. And then Evan Ingram, he's probably a game-time call with his calf injury. But he's going to play most likely as Ingram. But anyway, this Bronco team, I think they can make a few plays. They're going to try to make Daniel Jones beat him and try to take Saquon out of the game plan here. Which I think this Bronco team could do in this ball game, Especially with Saquon, not 100%. And not going to touch the ball 5, 20, 25 times in this game. And Von Mill is back. He's hungry. New regime over there in Denver. And they want to get off to a good start and make plays. I know they're traveling to the other coast here. But I think this defense could get to Daniel Jones three or four times with sacks. And we know Daniel Jones is a turnover machine in the first few seasons of his NFL career. So right here, I could see the Denver Broncos having a good fantasy day. And they're available in a decent amount of leagues as well. And I got them in number six, number seven, the New England Patriots versus the Miami Dolphins. And the Patriots, we know they got a good track record on defense, making plays versus young quarterbacks. And Tua Tagovailoa is coming to town here with the Miami Dolphins. And Tua, I'm not 100% sold on him. And I don't even think the Dolphins owner is sold on him as well, where we heard reports the last couple weeks that the Dolphins want to go all, all in and trade for Deshaun Watson, even with the off-field issues here with Watson right now. But right here, Bill Belichick, he's going to get the guys fired up. It's in Gillette Stadium. They play well, especially over there versus young quarterbacks. And I can see the Patriots making a few plays in this one and having a good defensive performance. So right here, I like them as the number seven defense. Number eight, the Baltimore Ravens. At the Las Vegas Raiders. So this is a Monday night football game here. And the Ravens, they were one of the top defenses drafted in fantasy football drafts this season. Yeah, I like the matchup. The Vegas Raiders, they don't got much on offense in my opinion. You got Derek Carr is a decent quarterback. But they don't got much besides Kenyon Drake and Josh Jacobs. Henry Ruggs, he's been a bust so far in his first season. They got Brent Pro at wide receiver and Nelson Aguilar. And obviously Darren Waller, who's one of the best tight ends in football. But right here, I think this is a good opportunity where the Ravens, they're going to make plays early and often. And we know this Raven team, they're known for that pick six to the end zone. And I definitely can see it happen in the opener here, especially opening night, Monday night football. And this Raven team, they want to make a statement this season. After last year going off to a slow start, I think they get off to a good start this season. And it... And it's going to start with the defense making a few plays. And this week, I like them at number eight. Number nine, the Kansas City Chiefs versus the Cleveland Browns. So I don't like a lot of Browns this week for fantasy football purposes. And I think this Chief team, they're going to make Baker Mayfield one-dimensional. And that's where Baker Mayfield's got in trouble in his career so far. Where he don't have a running game to work off of. And teams force him to throw the football 40 or 50 times. And I think that's going to be the case in this ball game as well. The Chiefs, they're going to get off to a big start. Probably get off to a 10, 14 point lead early in this game. Make Baker Mayfield one dimensional. And that's where they kick in is this defense. And they start getting sacks, start getting turnovers, scoring touchdowns possibly. And I think the Chiefs still reach double digits this week on defense. I could see 
Cleveland scoring early with them, but once the game gets into the later stages of it, this Chief defense is going to hold up. The offense is going to go off. And I think the Chiefs will make a few plays this week. Number 10, the Buffalo Bills versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. So the Steelers, I know they got a great offense, no doubt about it, with a lot of good weapons this season. And Ben Roethlisberger at the helm. But obviously, Ben, he's not 30 years old anymore where he can elude those sacks and break a lot of tackles. So I think this build defense, they're going to bring a heavy blitz in this game and make Ben try to throw quickly and release it quickly, which he still is one of the greater quarterbacks at doing that in this league. But right here, this build defense, they're going to end up with a full crowd over there in Buffalo. And you know how that crowd gets wild. They get loud, and they're going to make a few plays on defense. I don't think it's going to be a huge fantasy day for the Bills, but they're definitely going to put in a top 10 performance, and I got them at number 10 here. Number 11, the Washington football team versus the Los Angeles Chargers. So right here, I think this could be a mini shootout in this ball game. We know Justin Herbert's one of the great young quarterbacks upcoming in this league here, but I think Herbert's due for a couple turnovers as well in this ball game. Herbert's got that gunslinger mentality so far in his early career. They're still going to put points up on the board or the charges. But also I could see a few turnovers as well here with this young team. Washington, they're one of the higher ranked defenses in fantasy football. Earlier drafted defenses, special teams drafted in fantasy drafts. So I think Washington, they'll get a few sacks, maybe one or two turnovers in this game. And I think they'll be fine as the number 11 defense to start this week in the 12th and final defense I got in the rankings this week. The Miami Dolphins at the New England Patriots. So obviously the Dolphins, they've been getting better over the last couple seasons. They've been more familiar in the division. They know what New England's going to do, I think, on offense a lot. And Cam Newton's not there anymore. So they got the rookie Mac Jones starting. And you know it's opening week. It's the first game of the season. And rookies, they're going to be nervous. That's just the name of the game. And it's good to see Mac Jones won the job out of training camp. But I think the Dolphins could get a few sacks on them and they could make them turn the ball over. The Dolphins here, they're going to have a pretty decent season, in my opinion, as one of the better defenses in fantasy football. And they got taken in a lot of fantasy leagues. And I think this week they don't have a great game, but I could see them scoring anywhere from 8 to 10 fantasy points on defense and causing the rookie Mac Jones to make a few turnovers. So that's the top 12 defenses. I have ranked here for week one of the fantasy football season.